The danger of contracting dengue fever has increased dramatically since the 1940s. Dengue fever has spread from Southeast Asia to the Pacific Islands and the Middle East. Dengue fever has infected around 100 million people with 40,000 people dying from the disease. Dengue is transmitted from person to person through mosquito bites from infected Aedes species. As of April 17, 20,057 instances of dengue fever had been reported in our country with 115 deaths. Since March 26, 2022, there have been 7,423 new cases and 31 deaths. The rising number of dengue cases in numerous areas prompted locals to undertake extra precautions against the disease such as using insect repellent. On the other hand, plant-based repellents have been used as personal mosquito repellents for generations in traditional practice. In addition, traditional repellent plant knowledge is valuable for developing new natural repellents as an alternative to chemical repellents. We, General Mariano Alvarez Technical High School STEM students, investigated the utilization of a combination of oregano and lemongrass juice extracts as well as lemon and basil as primary ingredients in developing an alternative insect repellent and at the same time a refreshing spray. We used an experimental design called a 2x2 factorial to allow us to examine the effects of the two independent factor on a single dependent variable. The first sample of alternative insect repellent contains 20 ml of oregano and lemon extract, 15 ml of lemongrass extract, and 5 ml of basil extract. The second one includes 15 ml of oregano and lemon extract, 20 ml of lemongrass extract, and 5 ml of basil extract. Our chamber is made up of wood and has a dimension of 2 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. Its four rectangular sides were covered with thick and transparent plastic, while its two square sides have a mosquito net. In making the alternative insect repellent mixture, we first wash the oregano leaves and the lemon. The lemon rind is removed green and the juice is squeezed out. For the oregano, we use a blender until it produces its extract and filter them. To make the extract for the lemongrass leaves, we boil them. Lastly, a mortal and a pestle are used in extracting the basil. As we studied the samples, we found out that the extraction and the varied ratios of the samples of the insect repellent repel the mosquitoes by at least one minute. During the experimentation and after the sprayed sample A's effectiveness lasted, the mosquitoes increasingly approached the fabric similar to the sample B. The insect returned to the cloth and remained. In terms of the concentration and the fragrance of the sample A and B, sample A has a stronger fragrance, thus the smell lasted at least a minute in the room. While in the sample B, the concentration of the lemon is lesser, that's why the fragrance lasted shorter than the sample A. We want to recommend the following ideas to improve this study. First, research on the other Philippine native plants that contain mosquito repelling properties. Researching other Philippine native mosquito repelling plants will be helpful for the study to look for additional possible ingredients. Second, use the oil extracted from the ingredients and avoid using only its juice. Oil is proven to be more effective and long-lasting. Thus, it will help to elongate the mixture storage span and be effective in repelling mosquitoes. Third, grow the mosquito that we'll use for the experimentation. A reliable and a constant source of the mosquito will help to speed up the experimentation process. Also, in this way, the safety of the researcher will be secured. Fourth, add and use different organic materials and resources as a mosquito repellent. Additional ingredients proven to have a properties that can repel mosquito will help strengthen the mixture. Tip: Use a new design or other cage type for the testing the mosquitoes. To enhance the previous study, a new cage design for the testing the mosquito will be helpful for the contamination and storage of the mosquito. And more reliable, results will be present. Despite the fact that our experiment failed, our study continues to serve its purpose of knowledge sharing and learning. Indeed, 
it is better to find out than to speculate. We anticipate that this research will assist our future researchers in developing and discovering more effective plant-based insect repellent and at the same time air freshener spray.